Hey, so today, uh, this is just a quick video of uh, Full Self Driving version 12.3.4 is uh, making its way through some narrow streets, very narrow city streets. Um, that's the main main point there. There are some uh, intersections to one ways where they meet and only one direction has a stop sign. That That's also some, some, some good scenarios there. Uh, but the uh, the narrow streets uh, can can be pretty tight in Philadelphia, and uh, it only allows a few inches on each side. Uh, so let's uh, let's get started and uh, let's check out how this car performs. All right, so let's give this another shot. I just drove down this street with FSD, and the camera wasn't on, and my hair is on standing up straight on the back of my neck right now. All right, let's try it. Let's do it again. Uh, 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 my my gut is in a knot right now. And it, it wasn't even this street. It's the street up ahead that's narrow. Despite the street being fairly narrow. Alright, so here's a one way. The camera had better view than I did. Jeez. going really fast down this street right now. Oh. That was so close. <laughs> oh oh. Alright, so these cross streets where we have a stop sign, but the opposing traffic, or the uh, traffic going perpendicular does not I would not recommend using FSD on th at those intersections it does not exercise enough caution because people just speed through these roads and you got to be really careful So it's nice when the cars on the side have their mirrors tucked in, but that's not always the case. Like this car and the Subaru. Oh my God, we're like, oh, we were like an inch away from the curb on the left side. That's, that's about all <laughs> my nerves can take of this <laughs> for today. I'll try it, try it another day. All right, so overall, uh, it FSD performed pretty well on these narrow uh, side streets. Uh, it was kind of chilling to be in the driver's seat. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I thought it was interesting how successful it actually was. Uh, I wish it did take it a bit slower, um, you know, because you can have kids or just people or dogs, you know, walk out into the street and uh, just ensuring that, you know, there, there's a little more uh, wiggle room in, in, in regards for, for safety and just being able to stop in the case that uh, something does pop out from behind the car. Um, but uh, it's it's pretty incredible that it was able to one turn on to the street that that's you know from from the one street turning onto the very narrow street it's it's a very tight turn so that was that was impressive and then two just driving down the street and maintaining between half 
an inch and, a, and an inch on, on the left side, and then the right side had no more than like two or three inches uh, between the, uh, the side mirrors and the other cars. Uh, so overall, uh, pretty impressive. Uh, so thanks for watching and have a great day.